As far as the general outbreak is concerned, despite all the talk about the brilliance of the New South Wales contact traces, it appears they have been caught short with this outbreak. People in Parliament House on Tuesday were only contacted on Friday telling them they were close contacts and had to isolate three days later. In terms of the broader outbreak, three New South Wales ministers have told me last week they believe that Gladys Berejiklian did not lock down earlier because she wanted to preserve her reputation as the Premier who keeps business open. Now, here's another interesting social media post for the New South Wales Government. The Deputy Secretary of the Department of Premier and Cabinet, Sarah Cruikshank, who is the former Chief of Staff to Ms Berejiklian, enjoying a last supper, as she puts it, at Crown in the city, hours before the Friday CBD lockdown. Gladys Berejiklian's been warning about complacency, so is Brad Hazard. Here are some photos of the Rocks District of the CBD Thursday, before any of this lockdown, or just after the mass order came in for workplaces, which shows just how there was almost a virtual CBD lockdown occurring anyway, once Berejiklian announced that mass policy. And there's an even more renewed focus for the public on the pace of vaccinations now, as we know. Here is a shot of the lineup for vaccines at Sydney Olympic Park yesterday. Now, I'm told pharmacists are not being given the vaccines to dole out now by the federal government because the feds believe supply is not there yet. But pharmacists will get the shots when supplies ramp up. The federal government has now also committed to paying for Queensland, Victoria and WA to build quarantine facilities out of town, even though they might not be ready until February or March, where there is a hope after more vaccinations, there'll be less need for quarantine. And in terms of economic support for the lockdown, expect a big state government package this week. And next Thursday, eight days after it was declared a hotspot, federal lockdown payments can start for laid-off workers, Kieran.